and reach. I beat him too, I beat him up too, but I, I don't know, I lost the fight and then we fought in the hospital afterwards. It's kind of a long, crazy story. What are, what are wolf tickets? Have, have you ever heard of the boy who cried wolf? Wolf's gonna get you. This one's gonna go here. This is gonna go around your neck like that. Go and bite down for me. Uh, this is that chiropractor I was telling you about. He's gonna get you right. And I already slapped this motherfucker, so, you know, he knows. Hey, what's up, man? What's going on out there in YouTube land? Today we're with MMA royalty icon, Stockton Zone, 209's finest, the general of the Nick Diaz army, Nick Diaz himself, also here, Slap for Cash, Dr. Sean Plake here as well. So, uh, you know, Nick's been fighting for a long time, strike force champ, where you at, George? And, uh, you know, he's put his body through the ringer a few times, been in some all-time classics for you guys, the fans, so make sure you appreciate him, go show him some love on his social media pages, and, uh, I think he might, we're talking about, he should probably get an autobiography out soon. So that's an idea we're working on as well. Uh, he's got some stuff going on with his body right now. So we're going to work on a few body parts and uh, he's going to tell us a little bit about himself. What got him into fighting and what his future plans are. You ready? Yeah. Let's roll. All right, Nick. So what do you got going on physically these days? Uh, what's bugging you? What's, um, I have, um, uh, a little bit of, a few neck issues, some L5 S1. Uh, lower back stuff. Just I'm just not as agile as I was, you know. I, I think it's just just lack of training. I think you know I'm, I took some time off, and then going back in, I'm like, whoa! I better like you know I gotta. You, before I used to just jump into sparring and do five 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 minute rounds and, and teach class and train all day, and and I still do that, but like you know I I gotta like kind of map it out and put miles on the road and. I need to do some some strength some strengthening work. You know what I mean, like just like uh, leg strength and and, and um, lower back stuff. And, you know, just to kind of pull all that stuff together. Just gonna work these traps here, all the way into the neck. You feel a lot of tightness here. Yeah. Going up, right? Yeah. So Nick, is it, is it still trained by day, Joe Rogan by night? Oh yeah, Joe Rogan by night. Yeah. I try not to watch too much of that now. I get. I get too ramped up in that stuff. What are your favorites, the alien ones? Uh, I like all of it. I mean, well, I, I used to like all of it. it. The thing about watching that is that, and the reason why I was so in tune with it is because um, I was actually following a lot of people that he would bring onto that show before he had them on that show. Okay. I was already versed in a lot of the, a lot of the um, subjects and. Like, and like the government stuff. Just uh, well, you know. Yeah, I don't sure. want to go too far into it, but like, yeah, a lot of those guys, like, you know, in all aspects with, you know, with health and fitness or some of the other cool stuff, you know, yeah. I was kind of versed in following, you know, watching them and following some of them before he had them on there. Okay. You know, I was a real big YouTube guy before there was Instagram and Snapchat. And yeah. The social media world really kind of blew me out of the water. Yeah. Because I was just a kind of old school YouTube. I used to record all my stuff and put it on YouTube, and then you still have a channel. I still have a channel, but like I yeah, posted a while. Yeah, something happened to my accounts, like, um, and I got locked out of a few accounts and switched up a few. You know, it, it's kind of a long, crazy story about how I I started switching my passwords up. And oh, you know, shit. it's like yeah. So then, but then you know what? I got I got kind of it's, it sounds crazy, but I got kind of frustrated with it and. I get that happens all the time. I'm like, yeah, this yeah. is a bulletproof password. I'll yeah, never forget that. I fucking forget it. Yeah, like, no. Yeah, that happened, and I, I'm terrible with <laughs> stuff like that, you know. And it was just around that time where trick myself, <laughs> where everybody blew up on social media. Yeah, I just kind of this kind of blew me out of the water, you know. I was okay. I used to do all that. I used to do triathlon and stuff like that, and, and I'd record it and put it on YouTube and stuff, or, or like you know. Yeah. I do some stuff like that. And do you get royalties for your voice being on the Joe Rogan? Uh, no, no. <laughs> the intro. No, but but uh, yeah. So I, anyways, I used to do all that, and then once they once the once Instagram and Snapchat blew up so big, it just kind of uh -huh. blew. Up. Just those all that stuff kind your of. Instagram is pretty big. Yeah, but you know, I just kind of slowed it down. I'm like, I didn't want to compete with people that okay. were being athletes on there because yeah. I was I was an athlete and an MMA fighter. Yeah. And uh, you know, I don't know what you call it, like a enthusiast, or I mean, like somebody who's you know into different all types of stuff. Yeah. 
a, so, con a connoisseur. Yeah, I, I didn't want to be someone who was like a polymath, going all over the place. You know gotcha. what I mean on there, and I didn't want to be someone who was just like a one-dimensional either. So I just kind of just, you know, didn't run it like that. All right, Nick Diaz's top five favorite movies. What would they be? Uh, True Romance. Oh, okay. I like Lionheart. Solid. Um, with John Claude Van Damme. Yeah. And you're friends with John Claude Van Damme, yeah? Yeah. yeah. That that one that one that one in Bloodsport. Yeah. And Kickboxer got me into fighting. There you go. I like Die Hard. Is that a Christmas movie or not? Christmas movie? Is it a Christmas movie or not? That's the debate. People say it's Die Hard a Christmas movie. I don't see why why it's not. It's <laughs> during Christmas, right? It is during Christmas. Yeah. Yeah, I like Terminator. Terminator. T T one or T two? T T T T. T1 and 2. T2 is my jam. Does that make 5 though? Because I, I would... I would uh, yeah, that's at least 5. Yeah. Okay. Favorite rock band? Uh, the Deftones? Had to be. Chino. Chino. He looks like the missing Diaz brother. A lot of people say that. <laughs> that's Diaz. funny, yeah. Deftones. Your homies with him? My best friends was um, Teen and Ying. And they, they both passed away. And then Dai was the bass player. Okay. I used to hang out and... They they live like right on the corner from. They all grew up right around the corner from me. Okay. And so we always hang out when we were kids. Did you guys grow up watching wrestling? I didn't really watch wrestling. Okay. I was. Uh, so you didn't have a favorite. Wrestler. I grew up doing jujitsu. I did aikido and I did karate and I did boxing. So was there a jujitsu guy you looked up to, or was just? Hoist Gracie. There you go. Okay. And you said Bob Sh and Bob Hicks Shamrock. Hicks and got Gracie you into, uh, and Bob Shamrock and Frank Shamrock were kind of. In big, the area. Yeah. Frank was, I was a big fan of Frank Shamrock, and then I ended up fighting him later. Nice, that's a sore spot. Keep trying yeah. to move your hand there. So with your hand, try to go back and forth like this. Now you, you were in the UFC in like 2000, what, three, four? Um, yeah, way back. Yeah, so you might be the longest tenure, maybe total. You and Arlovsky probably, right? Oh, I guess so. He's so been around for a cool minute too. Yeah. Yeah, that makes me feel old. <laughs> <laughs> if you had to fight one person in history, dead or alive, if you got to, who would it be? Uh, one person in history, yeah. dead or alive. I never, I ne I'm not, I never liked picking fights. But you get one, like you're like, I could take it out. This guy was a, was a dick or blah, blah, blah. I really didn't like Joe Riggs. Okay. Did you fight him? I fought him, yeah. That's right. I beat him too. I beat him up too, but they, they uh, I, I don't know, I lost the fight and then we fought in the hospital afterwards. Should have been pro Oh, that's right. That's yeah. right. I forgot yeah. about that. Uh, who's your, who's your uh, favorite MMA journalist? TJ DeSantis. Okay. And if you could fight one MMA journalist? <laughs> <laughs> Ariel Horn. Uh oh, Ariel, it's on. Yeah. Because you like to start fights between the fighters. <laughs> where we're at from, people like that get slapped. What's, what's your what's your favorite fight of yours of all time? Like, you know, say your great-great-grandkids were here and you're like, you want to see a, bad, a badass? Like, here's the fight you want to see. All of them are pretty, cra pretty crazy. So what are, one of your, uh, what are your famous phrases, right, is wolf tickets. Explain that to us. You know, Carlos kind of named his dog wolf tickets. That's cute. <laughs> what does that mean, though? What, are, what is wolf tickets? It, it just means... Um, like bullshit. Like... Yeah, you're selling bullshit. Okay. But where does it come from? Do you know where it comes from? Have, have you ever heard of The Boy Who Cried Wolf? Yeah. I don't, I'm trying to remember the story of The Boy Who Cried Wolf. The Boy Who Cried Wolf he, is like, he was, uh, he was, it's he like kept crying about there's a wolf, there's a wolf, and then there really was yeah. a wolf, and, and then nobody believed him. And it's then like, it's like, like wolf came out and ate him. Yeah. yeah. It's like people played soccer, they touch yeah. him, and they're like, oh my god! But then they really yeah. blow their knee out, and everybody's like, oh, he's faking, right? Yeah. You're talking shit, you're talking shit, and then the wolf's gonna get you. Yeah. Makes sense. So you've been a black belt since what age? 20, 20, after I fought Tucker and Gomi. Okay. Gomi was a savage too. Was Fireball kid. 24, I think. Did you submit him? Yeah. What did you think about Nate's uh, yeah. submission, the one arm on Tony Ferguson? Oh, yeah. You like Tony's style too? He's, no, he's, I don't like it. You don't like his style? No, it's, it's, it's obnoxious. Fighting style? Yeah, I can't yeah. stand that type of style. Okay. I mean, I'm not gonna knock it, but because that's what you have to do. In that fight, I understand in that fight or general? Get, in general, it's like when you when you have, it's like a spastic type of person makes up with lack of technique with those type of tactics. Yeah. And you have to avoid those tactics, and it's really an annoying type of guy to fight. That's it. 
mixed martial arts for you though, you know, but just because it's mixed martial arts doesn't mean that you that you should depend on these these tactics that you're allowed to do. Yeah. If you have a strong base and you throw those in, then it's one thing, but then when you have lack of, a lot like of times people have, will make up for the lack of the strong base, you know, of technique with, with stuff like what he does. Are you coaching MMA too? I should, I'm pretty versed in all this stuff, but right. I'm just too competitive and I don't like to get, you know, if I can't actually be hands-on, I don't really want to be involved. Makes sense. Like when you lay down in the cage, right? One of the more iconic moments in MMA. What brought that on? You do that, you're gonna do that beforehand? You just did it in the moment, like? I knew what was happening. I was, I was, in, I was in, in for a, a fight that was like, I was really gonna have to take the fight to him. Yeah. And he was gonna run away. And so you have to really like put on a show out there. Yeah. And, or get the guy to come. Because the crowd went crazy. We were like, yeah. we were there. We were there. We were like, yeah! <laughs> And I knew the judges weren't gonna like like me in that fight, anyways. Yeah, well, you were fighting a, a much bigger dude at the time, right? Yeah. And then he popped after that, I think, right? Yeah. If I had to do over again, I don't think I would have taken that one. I don't think I would have. Uh, I think I would have ran it different. You know, I think I would have just pressure, put more pressure, and I think I could have got him out of there. Makes sense. Let's have you raise this leg as high as you can. About right there. How's that feel in the back? This is okay. Okay. Other side. That one goes higher. So that one moves easier, lighter? I guess so. Yeah. So definitely looking good. So let's work on this side. The left side's the one that bothers you? More. You know what, all this happened and it feels, it feels like I got sp split right between the part between your, you know. Your tank. Between your, yeah. Your gooch. I felt like that just broke open and. Uh, but that was after your, your hamstring. Sounds crazy, so. yeah. Yeah, and then I got I got hit with a glass bottle. Or Shit. With the, or with the glass one top of the head and I got all this neurological stuff that it feels like it got like wrapped up just a freaking knife a sucker bunch yeah I fought, like, fought like three people in the bathroom damn it's fucked up whoever did that you're a piece of shit I hope you're watching this and I hope you know that I said you're a piece of shit and I hope Nick whooped your ass I did but I got fucked up one on threes you know not the best no it wasn't and then they got arrested I think uh, these injuries that I have aren't aren't like They're not from fighting, no. Yeah. Fell off a bike and I got in a few street fights and then I end up all fucked up. Damn. What's your favorite animals? Favorite animal? Yeah, if Nick Diaz could have any pet in the world and you didn't have to take care of it or whatever, what would it be? If I didn't have to take care of it? Yeah. But you could just look at it and be like, that's dope, you could play with it every once in a while. Um, and it wouldn't eat you. Yeah, I could stay it. away from animals. Okay. Yeah. I like cats and dogs and fish just fine, but like wild exotic animals, you know. Yeah. Maybe the panda bear. I always wonder how does that thing survive? Like, what's the evolution they there? Don't, they don't. They have to. They had to like. They're doing better now, but they're like. They, I guess they couldn't breed those things. I see how all falling out of the trees and <laughs> falling on their ass. I'm like, how does that thing? So, there's Rolling no predators around. around they, or? they don't mate. Rolling around. Just for. That's they, right. They don't. They have to like really try hard to get them to mate. And see, I used to think stingrays were cool, and then they got got my boy, you know, Steve Irwin. Yeah, right. I'm like, nah, I'm not getting near one of those. You know those things where you get in the water, and like, hey, you pet the praying mantis, and now I'm like, no. <laughs> Even the dolphins scare me, bro. When I was a kid, I see Flipper, like, beat the shit out of some sharks. You know, like, if he could beat up a shark, what is he gonna do to me? I don't even have fins. Yeah, dolphins gang up on you and... Yeah, they, like, headbutt you and shit, right? I'm like, nah, bro. I don't belong in the water. <laughs> sharp, sharp. It's not for me. You always swim. Yeah, I've always been a swimmer. You take swim classes growing up. I was on the swim team. In high school? I swam before high school. Okay, middle school. Yeah, and then I started doing triathlon. So tell me a little about the Nick Diaz Army. You know what? I didn't start that. Okay. <laughs> That's another thing that really stressed me out, too. Is he gonna be the general? Do yeah. You, do you I really just, want to be? I'm not, yeah, I, you know, like, please. Just, like, I'm busy, don't put that on me. Can we get slapped to help you out with that? All right, raise that leg again. And back down, and the right side. Back down, good. How's that feel? It's better. Okay. All right, big, big, big deep breath and blow it out. There it is. 
Voltron or Transformers? Voltron Optimus Prime, I guess, is the better question. Nice. Yeah. How'd that feel? Good. Good. Yeah, yeah rotation on you feel pretty good. This one's gonna go here. This is gonna go around your neck like that. You can see people like outside my eyes. So, go and bite down for me. There we go. Good. How'd that one go? Good. Move. And shrug. And reach. And shrug. And reach. And shrug. And reach. And shrug. And reach. So another question we ask everybody is if you were gonna make a Mount Rushmore with five faces on it for MMA, who goes on your Mount Rushmore? On mine? Yeah. Give it anybody you want. Uh, personal. Sakuraba, Genki Sudo, uh, Hicks and Gracie, Hoist Gracie. What is that, four? Yeah. Not bad, little Sola. Okay, Sola. You like fighting in Japan? Yeah, man, earlier Henzo. I don't know. Um, do I like fighting in Japan? Mm -hmm. Well, I I liked watching Pride more than I liked watching UFC back when. It was but did you fight in Japan? Yeah, I used to fight there. Because the the crowd's different, right? Yeah. You like that better or worse, or? I liked it better. People treat you better over there too. I mean, it, they it was sure they treat me good everywhere. Yeah. Favorite TV shows as a kid? I like Married with Children. Saw it. <laughs> Love and Marriage. Night Rider. Night Rider, saw it. What about cartoons? Smurfs. Smurfs? No, I like Solid. Ninja, Ninja Turtles. X-Men, my favorite. Oh yeah, man. See, we're the same age. It's like Saturday morning. Yeah. 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 I feel like I'll pop right in the center? Yeah. My both hands are right behind the head here. Face this way. Right. You sell merch? Um, you have a website? No. You gotta work on that too then. Yeah. Alright, for right now, go follow my Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. There you go. Arms down. How'd that feel? Good, thanks. Good. That move good? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Open close your drop for me. And back. Again. Again. Bite down hard. Or not that hard. <laughs> right there is good. I'll hold that spot till it fades. Hey, if I if I get one of these uh, WC action figures to send it to you, will you sign it for me? Yeah. Sweet. If you could give three pieces of advice to the kids watching, what would they be? Uh, remember to brush your teeth. And the back ones get cavities. Yeah. You want that? Yeah, I remember do your push-ups. I do 100 push-ups. So you do a set of 50, count it in, in 20, and then two sets of 10, and there's five more and you're done. There you go. And then you can do the second half the same way. So if they want to grow up and be like you and be successful for you, what's the, what's the big step? Two, th two things to get you in shape. Running and sparring. Stay away from women. <laughs> Uh, oh, thank you. Yeah, feel good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, ankles better? Ankles yeah, better? thank you. Thank cool. You All right, make sure you go follow him on all social media. Uh, probably got a fight coming up one of these days if they, if they give him one. Hunter, you know what? You know his phone number. <laughs> Hook him up. Uh, otherwise, if you're in Vegas, go check out Dr. Sean Plake, Alito SM Las Vegas. Follow him on social media too. I'll plug Sorry. both of their links below. Uh, Slap for Cash is outside. Make sure you go follow him as well. And uh, otherwise, we'll see you guys on the next episode. Come on.
Rock on. Thanks, so. Cool. Yeah, bro.